Have you ever thought about the astounding achievement of providing 17,300 meals each day, non-stop, for 365 days a year? The U.S. Navy has elevated mobile mealtime to a whole new level. This incredible feat of culinary engineering keeps the fleet well-fed and prepared for warfare. How does the USS Enterprise manage meals on wheels for sailors? Prepare for a behind-the-scenes tour of feeding the fleet aboard the USS Enterprises and get ready for action. The 100,000-ton Nimitz-class aircraft carrier, which is the most prevalent aircraft carrier in the Navy fleet. An average crew of American sailors serving in the United States Navy, complementing 5,000 to 6,000 sailors, will spend months on deployment. They work, sleep, and eat aboard their city at sea. It takes an incredible amount of food to feed this enormous team three times a day. The USS Enterprise is not just a fighting ship. It's a massive enterprise that requires careful planning. 17,300 meals are whipped up every single day just to satisfy everyone on board. It's like a culinary marathon on the high seas, right? U.S. Navy warships are always on the move out in the open sea. Resupply operations are difficult and, at times, risky. How can warships at sea get their essential supplies while cruising through the open waters? What if I told you there is a high-stakes operation called underway replenishment? This is a clever strategy in which the ship directs a supply vessel into position by matching its pace. When the ships run parallel, a hotline is sent out, and expert line managers bring in a thick messenger line. Once connected, thick pallets loaded with thousands of pounds of stuff, fuel, food, and supplies, moved from one ship to another. They load boxes of pineapples, tomatoes, apples, and other produce into the carrier's fluorescent-lit dry storage and refrigerated compartments. What is the carrier's best-kept secret weapon against product perils? Hanging ethylene filters. Fruits and vegetables stay fresh for longer thanks to these sneaky ripening gases. Some sailors keep an eye out for upcoming waves, while others scan the horizon for possible threats. Another technique is vertical replenishment. Helicopters are used to convey freight by means of a cargo hook which makes multiple trips and drops some goods each time. Completing the process can take some time. The Nimitz, commissioned in 1975, has five galleys, which sets it apart from its more modern counterpart, the USS Gerald Ford Supercarrier, commissioned in 2017. A keen observer pointed out, although these ships share the same footprint, the Ford has undergone a space makeover, enhancing carrier life and work for better efficiency. The Ford, in contrast to the Nimitz, has two galleys instead of five. One in the rear part that is centralized and another forward that is designed to serve the carrier's air wing. How are food items stored on a lower deck? Many of the same types of goods found in a regular retail supermarket are stored in the transporter's dry and refrigerated storage facilities. The refrigerated units, which are positioned many decks below the galley, resemble a culinary kingdom's secret treasure chest. The kitchens and storage spaces are cleverly arranged such that they stack vertically, allowing chefs to work their magic with ease. The Navy tries its best to accommodate their likes and preferences, since American service members have comparable tastes and inclinations to their peers back home. The ships follow a rather set menu, regardless of where they are stationed, eating the same or very similar foods on the same day. Once a week, the employees who are in charge of supplies try their best to fill their shelves. How do they manage to consistently restock the ship with new supplies? They are able to accomplish this through pre-existing contracts with significant distributors, Every time the ship approaches a port, food is ordered and delivered, guaranteeing a reliable and regular resupply routine. Fresh fruits and vegetables are frequently in short supply for sailors before their voyage is over. They go all in from the beginning, storing as much perishable, delicious food as they can before the deployment even begins. How do they handle resupplying when a ship is too far out at sea? When this occurs, fresh foods start to run out and are substituted with dried or tinned foods. What about drinking water? To hydrate thousands of sailors in a workplace that is frequently hot and humid, a lot of drinking water would be required. Luckily, modern nuclear ships have cutting-edge desalination facilities available on board. These portable water plants function similarly to distilleries, superheating water to steam, and then condensing it through pipes that are chilled. Minerals are added once the water is filtered for drinking and general usage. The ship's nuclear reactor is the powerhouse behind all this, and here's the mind-blowing part. It only needs refueling once every 25 years. How exciting is the fascinating world of food preparation on an aircraft carrier? How do they whip up meals for over 5,000 hungry sailors and crew members aboard the USS Enterprise? 
Aircraft carrier kitchens resemble a gigantic version of restaurant kitchens. When bustling with activity, workers in paper helmets and uniforms chop meat. They often accidentally burn barbecues when they stick their gloved hands into sticky mixtures. They get the freshly baked goods out of the ovens and make their way swiftly between the massive mixers. In that bustling kitchen, they're really getting things done, making it a piece of cake. On board the USS Enterprise, the cooks, also referred to as culinary specialists, are responsible for supplying food for about 5,000 passengers and crew members. It is crucial to make sure that crews are properly fed during a military operation in order to sustain morale and energy levels. Sailors work longer hours and take fewer breaks. Even though these culinary staff are not in charge of the ship, no one aboard the ship would have anything to eat without them. A poorly fed army will not perform effectively in combat. For this reason, providing food for the soldiers and sailors on board requires a great deal of planning and preparation. On the USS Enterprise, some 17,300 meals must be made every day to feed every sailor and crew member. That sounds like some sort of culinary wonder, doesn't it? Especially when you take into account all 114 sailors' contributions. According to those in charge of this huge undertaking, organization, multitasking skills, and interpersonal abilities are crucial. They must function as a team due to their deployment, and they are totally reliant on one another. A tremendous amount of logistical work is needed to feed thousands of people in a comparatively small area. Multiple kitchens are distributed throughout the entire ship. The crew on board might eat as much as 1,600 pounds of chicken, 160 gallons of milk, 30 quarts of cereal, and 350 pounds of lettuce in one day. Everything is produced in large quantities due to the importance of adaptability. Cooks are always in the kitchen, multitasking like pros, and expanding their skill set to handle more plates on their culinary journey. Spending on food comes to between $45,000 and $65,000 per day, or $1.8 million each month. Every kitchen in the carrier needs to have enough supplies on hand at all times. A supply ship will deliver between 4,000 and 1 million pounds of food every 7 to 10 days. It is not unusual for regional foods, such as feta cheese from greens, to be included when delivery variety is required. How do sailing crew members celebrate their birthdays at sea? Well, it turns out the sailing crew members who have a birthday that falls within a particular month are given a celebratory lunch that usually consists of prime rib or lobster. A tablecloth, wine glasses, and relaxing background music are all included with this special meal. The ship's cooks put a lot of effort into making sure the enormous amount of food they make is tasty because food has a direct impact on the sailor's morale. They prepare large quantities of food and serve it almost continuously throughout the day. For example, hamburgers are cooked on grills that can hold several dozen people at a time, while mashed potatoes are produced in containers the size of kettle drums. It takes 1,500 pounds of meat on a beef night and 1,200 pounds of chicken on a chicken night. When they finally get around to serving beer, it comes in half-sliced aircraft engine containers filled with ice. The hangar bay has gyms to burn off the food, dubbed gerbil gyms because one is for weightlifting and the other is for treadmill runners. The eight-chaired barbershop cuts 25,000 haircuts annually to make sure sailors always have the right haircut. Undoubtedly difficult and demanding, life on an aircraft carrier can also be thrilling especially for the men and women working on the flight deck. There is no place on earth that can compare to it, whether they're riding high on the thrill or weathering the storm. It's a world like no other, where every twist and turn in the journey becomes a story worth telling. Don't forget to smash that subscribe button and ring the notification bell to ensure you're always in the loop for more incredible videos like this one. Stay tuned for the next one. See you there.